I wonder if he'll wear Bermuda shorts. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, at least the weather is good today for Bermuda shorts. If you want to wear them, I would mm -hmm. not uh, on a bed or a dare. But anyway, Carson, the weather is nice today. What about your Texas shorts? I always see you wearing. Neil? No, that, that's different. Okay. It's different. I mean, not brown, just not making Bermuda. sure. I mean, there's no excuse for you not to get outside Absolutely. In this evening. That's oh, you I have said. to work. I mean, you, you're off the hook, Neil. You can see lots of sunshine. I'll wear the Texas shorts on a right. Tower, tower cam, you can see oh, lots of sunshine out there right now, and that's going to continue to be the case as long as we have the sun to deal with here over the next couple of hours. Here are those temperatures. We are in the 70s and 80s. Look at Linden all the way up to 84 degrees. It's 81 in Tyler and Longview and in Jacksonville and tonight's forecast again warm evening. We're keeping the sunshine of course through six o'clock and then 60s by 10 50s to start out for tomorrow morning. So tomorrow I do expect to set a high of about 81 a very similar to today. I just think our rain chances are going to increase, especially in deep east Texas for tomorrow afternoon. We'll talk about that here in just a second, but I want to show you the overall setup. This is what's going on across the Lone Star State. West Texas dry, East Texas were also dry. We could see a few higher clouds move in after midnight tonight, but the main weather maker is skirting over northern Nevada right now. You can see the snow near Lake Tahoe and across the Sierras there to the east of San Francisco. So tonight, most of tomorrow and even most of tomorrow night, we're not dealing with much. So nothing to show you on future cast there. However, after six o'clock tomorrow evening, that's when we do start to see a few showers and thunderstorms for deep east Texas, and we could see a couple bubble up popcorn showers and storms through at least nine o'clock. We lose the fuel overnight, but we should have enough fuel after about midnight. That's when we do start to see these showers and thunderstorms forming off to the west, and you can see how they kind of explode to the west of Terrell right there. But after six o'clock Wednesday morning, this will all start to move off to the east. Notice this is in the morning. That's good news because we don't have as much fuel in the morning as what we would have in the afternoon. That was nine o'clock as we move into noontime. We start to fuel these storms up and notice how Futurecast is really picking up on this. The main threat anytime you see a line will be damaging winds, but that will all shift off to the east by five o'clock Wednesday afternoon, leaving us dry Wednesday night. So some good news for you there. Now here is that severe weather threat. This is for tomorrow night. This is for hail and damaging wind gusts. Level one green marginal risk includes all of us except for the southern border of our viewing area. However, this is enhanced a little bit, not an enhanced risk, but we go from a level one to a level two slight risk for our eastern counties. That's where we could see some damaging winds and some large hail at time. Can't rule out an isolated tornado either to the east of Longview and Henderson. Maybe some hail, some strong winds in that level one marginal risk. So you know that real we're starting to get into the middle to late part of March. Our severe weather season has arrived. Here are the next seven days. After that, though, we do get a break. 60s Thursday and Friday, 70s return Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday, we could start to see a few more showers in the area. And then deep east Texas, we've got 80s, 70s, 60s, th Thursday and Friday, back into the 70s by the weekend. Of course, for the latest, you can head on over to our website. That is KETK.com. Sure is, Neil. Yeah, this weekend you wear any sort of shorts you want, right? Of course.